tutorial on how to disassemble a Bose A20 and install the Sky Cowboy stirrup adapters that make it work with a Peltor uh, helmet. So first is remove the Velcro cushion from the top. Oh, and the tools that you're gonna need are a screwdriver, Phillips head, a small set of needle nose pliers, uh, your Sky Cowboy adapters, and a little bit of um, glue. So first thing is you'll see there's two small Phillips head screws down in here that you'll need to undo. You can repeat that on both sides. With those undone, the ear cups just fall off. Um, from there, you'll take your needle nose pliers and you'll go and pry out these small seat retainer clips that hold the wire in place through the headband. Um, these are the only parts that are not able to be reassembled in the headset should you have a warranty issue and need to send the headset back to Bose. Um, other than that, this is a non-destructive uh, teardown. So we'll put that aside, we won't need it anymore. So the next, now that this cable's free, you'll see it actually goes into the um, ear cup down here. So we'll start on the other side that does not have the wire, just pull straight out. That frees that factory stirrup. Um, and then you wanna be careful when you separate this to make sure there's a little retainer clip or retainer clip there that holds the wire and you want to make sure that you're not pulling this and, and stressing that wire. We'll do that on the same thing on the other side. So again, there's that little retainer nub. Just to make sure that you get it free of that. So now you have your bare um, clips. The stirrup adapters are injection molded. Um, and universal, there's no left or right. Either will work on either side. Um, typically, you'll put it on the side with the cable first. So you get that lined up and pushed in. You'll expand the adapter to stretch it out. Goes on the other side, pops into place. And the same is true on this side. So you start again with the side with the cable coming out of it. Locks into place. So the one um, issue that I've had with a few of these is these will wear out and rotate over time um, and wear out those nubs. So you can see right here, there's a, there's a there, the nubs that lock in, there's, they're keyed um, into the, the headset themselves. Those can wear out. So in order to prevent that from happening, you just put a dab of super glue here right at the apex of the ear cups and that just prevents that rotation um, and you won't have any issues. So I just use a little super glue and I just happen to have activator so you can give the activator spray and that's it. So now these are ready to go in a, head, a helmet. Um, you know, in lieu of showing you guys that, I can show you how they interact with the Peltor. So these are a Peltor adapter uh, for a Team Wendy helmet. And these just slide into place like this and just clip in and rotate 90 degrees. And they're made to rotate. And then if you need to take them off, you rotate again to the 90 degree position and you can wiggle them back off. Thanks very much.